Hi guys, this is Steve with homebrewvideos.com. Today we're going to talk about some of the equipment you need to get started with homebrewing. Now one of the most important pieces is your fermenter. And there's three basic styles that we're going to talk about for the beginning homebrewer. Now the first type is the plastic bucket fermenter, which we have here. In the next couple of videos we're going to cover glass and plastic carboys. And we're going to go over the pros and cons of each style. So here we have the plastic bucket fermenter. The most of you will probably recognize this is the one included in most starter kits that you see online or in your local homebrew store. So first we'll cover the pros. Pros, it's lightweight. I mean it weighs almost nothing. And even with a five gallon batch of beer it's easy to carry, especially because it does have this nice handle on it. It's cheap. These run 10 to 15 bucks brand new. Um, they're very easy to clean because the top does completely off, so you, completely off, so you have lots of room to get in and clean and scrub and disinfect. That's about it though for the pros. The cons are many. One of the big ones is that the, the plastic here is not transparent, so you can't see your fermentation activity. You gotta open it up to take a look inside. So you can't monitor where your yeast is at and you know, how active your fermentation is going. That's a big negative. The plastic is also very soft. So scrubbing around in here or stirring with a metal spoon or hitting it with a siphon can scratch the surface. And then in that scratch, you know, bacteria can hide, it'll be hard to clean, you know, a little bit of danger of ruining a batch of beer down the road. So that's definitely a con. But by far the biggest one is that you have to remove this lid to get to your beer during fermentation. So what this means is you want to get in there to take a sample reading to measure your specific gravity of your beer. This tells you how far along your fermentation is, and you can also derive your alcohol percentage in your beer by doing that. But to take a measurement, you've got to take this lid completely off. And there's a lot of risk of dropping something into this bucket and, you know, spoiling your beer. Something could fall off your shirt or, you know, it's just a lot of danger of contamination here. And additionally, when it time, comes time to transfer beer to, you know, another fermentation tank or a carboy or to a bottling bucket, you have to use a siphon to get in here to, you know, siphon it out. And so you have to sanitize that as well, which is really a pain in the butt to work with. Now, we will cover how to use a siphon in later videos at homebrewvideos.com, but uh, just note, if you can avoid them, it's nice to not have to mess with the siphon. So again, all in all, plastic bucket fermenters, a great place to start, but you know, after just a couple batches, you're going to really want to upgrade to a, a glass or a plastic carboy. So that does it for our first video on fermenters. In the next video, we're going to talk about using glass carboys for, for fermenting. And we'll go over the pros and cons of that, and then we're going to cover plastic carboys in a later video. So remember to learn more about brewing equipment and everything you need to get started with homebrewing. Visit homebrewvideos.com and sign up for our free newsletter. This is Steve with homebrewvideos.com. Thanks for watching.